Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome to this video. Today I'm actually going to take you through an exciting tool called Element Pack which has up to 1000 plus elements, widgets and sections, even those blocks that you can use in your Elementor website. And the beauty is that they even have a free plugin that you can get started with to test some of their widgets. So let's dive straight in and we actually check out some of those tutorials that actually caught my eye or those that I thought would bring you a lot more value. Enjoy the video. If you've been following these tutorials about exciting Elementor extensions, you will find that actually Elementor Pack is one of those out of the box extensions that you should think about or that you should consider when you're building your next WordPress website. I mean, they have a bundle of amazing widgets right down here. Look at this. Look at this. This is just too much than what i really expected they have post widgets that are over 18 of them they have custom content widgets that are over 24 or actually there are 24 they have over 20 widgets the others you know look look look, look. these are actually new ones like the icon box there is the cryptocurrency table the cryptocurrency card image magnifier image compare user registration i mean it's just too much. Look at the other widgets, 360 product viewer, help desk, and a lot more other widgets right down here. I'm really, when I came across this tool, I was so amazed by how much these guys have done just to bring value to Elementor users. And the other thing is that they actually have a free version of this plugin available in the WordPress repository by coming over to your WordPress dashboard come to plugins add new plugin and right here you simply search for element pack and once you have element pack searched here it will show up right here in the search results it is called element pack light add-on at the moment it has 1000 active installations and i've already installed it on my website and once you install it you simply just come over here to elementor and then it is located just right down here and in the free version, you have just a few of them that you can use by simply clicking on which widget you want to enable on your website. You simply enable it and then it will be activated in your Elementor widget section. And how does that look like when we go over here to an Elementor template that is opened up? You can simply just open up any page with Elementor and you'll have something like this. This is a demo that I already created. But I basically want to show you how you can locate Element Pack add-ons. They are basically down below here see this element pack light so these are the widgets that you can actually use in the free version of element pack but in this case i'm not going to take you through how each and every widget works like but i'm basically going to show you around the amazing widgets and how they will work for you when you consider them for your elementor website or project and to start off there is the number one that i found which is the audio player that you can simply embed in your wordpress website in any area where elementor is enabled and you'll get started and you'll be in position to provide your visitors with streaming services these are the different themes of the audio players you can have you can have this and i mean you can even adjust the styles right within elementor you see how this looks like and the good thing is that actually element pack has provided video tutorials on how you can use each and every section of theirs in your Elementor website. Next is the circle menu. This I've not seen anywhere in any other extensions I've reviewed. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Home, shop, settings. Da -da 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 -da. Look at this one. I've not seen any circle menu anywhere else in the Elementor extensions. If you guys have spotted any circle menu in any of the extensions I reviewed on this channel, please let me know and mention that extension that I talked about. Probably I may have missed it out somehow, somewhere. Next is actually the drop bar. This is how the drop bar looks like. See, you can add this widget anywhere within your WordPress website. You can even add one on click drops on click drops here on hover and look at this you can even set the width of that specific drop bar note this is not the tooltip the tooltip is different from a drop bar so you shouldn't confuse the two look at this i mean you can even like add these animations and there are even those that are offset and a lot more of course there is also a video tutorial right down here 
Next is a document viewer. Yes, I've not seen a document viewer in any other extensions I've been talking about in this series. And that's why I find this really exciting and unique. And you can even preview it like in a pop-out window. Or basically to where it is sourced from. Or you can simply just zoom in the document right here. And if there are several pages, you can simply navigate through those pages right within here. This is an Excel sheet linked within your Elementor website or that you can link within your Elementor website. And here is a doc file or a Microsoft Word document that you can have embedded within your WordPress website or Elementor website and even PDFs you are in position to do that. Next on the list for me is a dual button. Yes, we have seen a dual button in one other extension or two. And uh, I think this is also something exciting because if you can add a dual button or a marketing button, call it the way you want to your Elementor website, you'll provide a number of uh, options for someone. Uh, in case, for example, you can say here, join the course, or maybe here you say not now or later. And here, of course, these guys are providing a number of styling options for this duo buttons which i find interesting and that you can even try them out next on the list that i found interesting is the help desk look at this icon oh my god this is sweet the way it moves up look look this is amazing i love this look at this other one here i've not seen this in any other extension if I've missed out in some other extension that I reviewed, please let me know in the comment box below. I'll be happy also to know about that. But I found this interesting. So you can simply add it on your Elementor website so that if people want to contact you or basically to chat with you or whatever info you would want to collect or to enable your website to access, you can simply just add this help desk icon right down there. Next on the list is this other amazing one which is the icon navigation look at this look 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 so it actually has an off canvas menu within it but basically this is the icon navigation and you can simply add it to your elementor website it covers the whole height of your page and you never have anything like white space down here which i find really interesting Next on my list is the off canvas, which is the off canvas menu, the way others call it like. Look at this. And uh, by scrolling down here, look at this other version or style. You know, you can even add other widgets within that. You can add the menu. And of course, this is Elementor. You can add more other sections right within this off canvas section. Look at this one. Boom. I like the styling social widgets added there look at that you can even add a gallery right within there uh, by just clicking away it automatically collapses this is basically 400 pixels in the width you can make it any size that you want you can even make it transparent when someone is seeing this they can also see what is behind that specific widget so you can pretty come over right here. I'm going to leave a link down in the description to check out any of these extensions to see if there is anything you can try out for your Elementor website. Next is the navbar. You've seen this in a couple of other extensions and even Elementor itself. But I think that if you are going to get a bundle for these Elementor extensions, getting one bundle that has literally everything that you would want for your Elementor website would be amazing so that you only enable those widgets that you want to use so that it also doesn't cause a lot of bloat but also when you have a couple of things so that again you don't have to buy more other extensions to basically achieve something you would have achieved when you have one extension. These are the different stylings for the navbar and of course you can customize them to literally what you want. This is Elementor. You can switch up things, you can animate them and a lot more next is the 360 product viewer boom have you seen this anywhere i've not seen this in the last extensions i've been reviewing about 10 of them and i find that element pack is making really something awesome and which i would have loved that you guys to check out look i can even preview it in a bigger window
look at the side now this is a mouse option to move it you can simply navigate around the product by just hovering the mouse there then this is mouse option which is a wheel for example if you have a wheel mouse okay and yeah those are the options that you have in the 360 product viewer which i think you guys if you're running a store or you're selling up some things this is something that you would find interesting to try out as a widget in your elementor website next is the table of content so if you're a person of content writing blogs writing long form content this is the widget for you as in you can add a table of content to your website for example this is in the off canvas menu you can simply navigate to specific sections of your content and in case you want to view it again you just simply click over there in case you want to go back to the top you simply just click to that specific section instead of having to scroll right down there which is pretty hectic and of course there are other versions of this same table of content uh, widget there is a off canvas layout which we, which we just saw here and we also have another one called a fixed layout, drop down layout, and regular layout. So let me just look through these two fixed layout and regular layout. So this is a regular layout. I simply click to that section, it takes me there. Uh, the widget itself or the table of content stays in its position, and basically the page navigates up and down based on where you click for that specific section. The other one is a layout sticky. It's basically left aligned. And uh, also if you navigate through the specific section, once you get to that section, automatically it indicates the exact section where you are. Of course, these are options that you select when you enable the widget, and then you can simply add the headings and section that you want to apply in that table of content. And the very last one is the table element or widget itself. They have a couple of templates of course i've also seen other table widgets in other extensions for elementor the most one that i find interesting is the one that has a searchable future which is this one down here whereby i can search something based on a keyword that i provide it will basically search up anything that is related to that keyword that you are searching for that's my quick walkthrough into element pack but i will not close before heading straight right here on the home page and i show you that actually they have even more other widgets that you have no idea about for example the advanced heading widgets advanced gallery charts crypto card table crypto table contact form call out of course we've looked into the circle menu device slider countdown iframe image magnifier in case you want to show a bigger version of that image or someone just look into the details of a specific image this is a widget for you news ticker open street map are a lot of elements right here even there is a qr code widget there is a search widget these are already available in elementor pro user registration logins video player and there's even other third-party widgets that you can have to use in case you have that specific plugin. For example, I saw here one for Revolution Slider. I've seen Body Press. I've seen Contact Forms, Layer Slider, Mailchimp. And then you have these all WooCommerce widgets. They add to cart, the cart page, the WooCommerce categories, WooCommerce checkout. Only time can limit us, but these are all possibilities that you have in case you're creating your Elementor website and you have Element Pack install and activated and hey maybe you have a question how much does this go for that's what now we have to look into it comes with two exciting uh, plans one which is the yearly plan and the other which is the lifetime plan so the yearly plan is 24 dollars yearly for one website you have a total of 120 widgets plus 100 ready-made pages plus 80 header and footer widgets plus 590 plus ready-made blocks now the same features go for all the other products right here but what changes are the number of websites and the price so here for three websites you will have to pay 59 dollars per year and 129 dollars per year for unlimited websites with white label branding in case you want to do that but on the other hand for lifetime pack you have to pay 49 dollars for one website same features and then 129 dollars for a lifetime for three websites 
that is also without the white label option but if you pay for unlimited websites for a lifetime which goes for 399 dollars you have white label enabled and lifetime support lifetime updates for all these packages that was my quick walkthrough into this but also if you want to come over this platform or this website to look into the ready-made pages ready-made blocks ready-made headers ready-made footers you just come over here to ready-made layouts and you look through all these i've already gone through this personally i've looked through them and i wasn't disappointed they're actually convincing especially their layouts that they made that you can simply use within your elementor website now look at this these are already blocks you can simply import and use in your elementor website and it looks like most of them have just recently been added and they are up to date and just know if you pay your 24 dollars for the one site license you're going to have all these amazing features now look at these header templates which are already made so in case you have elementor pro you get element pack boom you are good to go you have a variety of what to choose from when you are creating your elementor website and in case you want to check them out please go in the description box below i'm going to leave a link down there thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you happen to have seen or found out that there is actually an exciting widget within element pack that you would love to check out please let me know in the comment box below and if you have any questions comments about element pack or in case you want me to make a specific video about element pack I would also love to know about that in the comment box below. I'll also be linking up in the description below some of the other Elementor extensions I found interesting and I've already reviewed on this channel. And in case you're new to this channel, please go start hitting the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss out on new other tutorials just like this one. And if you like this video, please like it. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.